everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about my top six fragrances. If you are new to my channel then please click the subscribe button, I make a lot of beauty related videos. So now I know fragrance and perfumes is kind of quite a personal thing so what I necessarily suggest, I don't know how useful it's going to be but I just want to talk about my favourite six fragrances with the idea being that I tell you sort of what types of perfumes they are and what notes they've got in them and why I like them and then based on that I mean we don't have smell of vision but if I'm really recommending something then you might want to go in store and like definitely smell it and try it and see if you like it too. Hopefully this is a useful video anyway if you're kind of looking to try out a new perfume it might give you some ideas for ones you'd like to try or if you're buying a gift for someone um, this might help with that with like a Christmas gift for a loved one or something. So I'm going to be talking through my high-end fragrances I forgot to mention, so like designer type fragrances. So before I get into talking about my top six fragrances I just want to give you a bit of insight into what my preferences are in a fragrance. Um, so I've made some extensive notes um, for all the fragrances but um, yeah just talking about my preferences. I prefer more of a sort of woody oriental type smelling fragrance that it's strong enough that you smell it when I'm next to somebody, but I don't like ones that when you walk past someone and they like really whack you in the face, um, I find them too overpowering. So I like it to be long lasting and reasonably sort of moderate strength, but um, not them one really overpowering ones. And yeah, as I said, I prefer like woody, oriental, fresh type smells as opposed to floral and like really sweet, fruity, kind of girly smells if that makes sense so I do kind of lean towards more a sort of seductive if you want to call it that um sort of more mature um almost unisex fragrance as opposed to like a really girly fragrance um but that's just my personal preference so now my fragrance like preferences kind of go up and down so I've got like my collection and sometimes I like perfumes more than others and yeah they kind of they move around the order but this is me at the moment why I like them in this order. So my top fragrance that I'd recommend at the moment is my Mon Galan from Galan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully I am. Yeah, so this is the, I don't even know how you say that, E de Parfum. So you can either get E de Parfum or E de Toilette, is it? I'm really butchering that, I don't know how you say that. But yeah, I think, yeah, this one's the par Parfum one. And also just a side note, I keep all my fragrances in their boxes that they come in um, because this helps to protect the perfume from sunlight so that helps increase the longevity of the fragrance like how long it lasts before it starts to go off. Most fragrances do last around three years but because I've got almost a collection I don't ever really use for a fragrance and I, it just helps like I said with the longevity so you're getting your money's worth out of the fragrance without it sort of going bad. Fragrances do go bad but they just kind of don't smell how they used to smell but you can still like wear them like there's nothing wrong with it unless it's yeah it's literally 10 years old and then I probably wouldn't recommend it anyway so if I stop rambling and get this uh, Mongolan out of the box um this is what the packaging looks like I've got the size 30 milliliters this is actually my second bottle so I like it that much oh no th sorry this is 50 milliliters this one um the box is a 30 milliliter box because this is from the previous one that I had um but I just kept this box yeah it's quite a nice packaging it's glass packaging um, the colour of the perfume is like a light pink sort of colour and then this top has got kind of, it's plastic I think, the top. Um, but yeah, it's a nice shape bottle, um, very sort of traditional shape perfume bottle from Galant. So looking at my notes, um, this fragrance was launched in 2017 and it's described as, I think it comes under an oriental fragrance. Um, it's described as fresh oriental. Now for 30 millilitres this retails for £53 in the UK. Um, obviously larger sizes are available but for all of these perfumes I'm just going to state the smallest size which is 30 millilitres and how much that costs. Um, and yeah if I go into talking about notes of this perfume, um, basically from my limited knowledge of perfumes and perfumery you have your top notes and then you have your heart notes or middle notes whatever you want to call them and then base notes. Now I used to think that top notes would mean that's the strongest sort of fragrance that you can smell in the perfume but it's actually not from what I was reading the top notes is them smells that you initially get when you spray it them top notes kind of evaporate away quite quickly and then the middle notes are kind of what you can smell next that kind of last a reasonable amount of time and then they kind of fade away and then them base notes is like the base to the perfume the longer the longer lasting um, scents that you can smell so after you've had the perfume on all day 
there that's the notes that you can still smell um lingering on your skin basically um so yeah back to this mongolan one um the top notes are bergamon carla and lavender hopefully i'm pronouncing bergamon right i have no idea how you pronounce that um heart notes par paradisone i don't know how you say that i don't know what that is um sambac jasmine coumarine and then base notes are iris vanilla an album sandalwood lots of them things sound f fancy i don't know whether they're just varieties of of the scent i don't know um but yeah sorry for butchering what they're called because i've never heard of a lot of them things the intensity according to the website is like a three out of four um not galan's website i was on the perfume shop website they give you a lot of information about fragrances it's a really good website so that's where a lot of this information has come from but yeah this is my favorite um fragrance at the minute because it's it's quite long lasting and it, like it's a really nice fragrance you should go and smell it definitely um but it's not too overpowering so like i think this is one you can wear of a daytime and a nighttime like it's appropriate for all occasions it's very much like my scent of the minute i kind of i kind of add like one perfume a year roughly to my collection and it almost stands as like my scent for a certain year of my life if i know that sounds strange but so this is very much the scent I've had actually for more than a year. I think I, I got this when it came out, so I was about maybe 21, 22. But yeah, this has been my top fragrance for like the past maybe one and a half years. So yeah, it's a very me smell. Um, and it's feminine, but it's not too girly, but not too mature at the same time. It's just a really nice one. So yeah, this is my favourite. Oh, and I forgot to say as well, um, for this Mongolan one, the um ambassador if you want to call it that um or celebrity endorser is actually angelina jolie which is quite cool and i think the fragrance was meant to be inspired by her as well now my second top fragrance is actually my most recent addition to my perfume collection and that is the good girl um fragrance by carolina herrera if i'm saying that right um so i've got 50 milliliters in this as well and it's an eau de parfum so it comes in this lovely box it's like velvet on the box um if i open it up this is by far like it's so bougie it's such lovely packaging if you look at it look it's literally it's like a high heel shoe like have you ever seen anything so beautiful and yeah basically you kind of push the top here and the fragrance comes out there and it, it stands up as well so you can you can stand it up um, it's a bit of a shame because this is very much like a display perfume i'd love to display it but because i want to increase the longe longevity um, I like to keep it in the box. Now looking at my notes, this um, fragrance was launched in 2018, so it is quite a, a recent fragrance. Um, it's described as an oriental fragrance, which again is what I like. Um, it's described as modern femininity, sophisticated, good and bad side combined, and it's meant to be a sensual type fragrance. And I definitely agree with that. It's, it smells very sensual. It's kind of hard to describe perfumes, but I hope you know what I mean by that. Like it's just quite, I don't know, feminine but seductive and a bit more mature if that makes sense now in my opinion i think this is more of an evening fragrance because it is it is quite a strong fragrance but it's not super overpowering um i don't know i just feel like it's nighttime appropriate um but obviously, obviously that's up to you so the top notes in this are almond heart notes are jasmine dambach cheap rose and iris and base notes are tonka bean, cocoa, vanilla and coffee. To me, I can really kind of almost smell that, the um, cocoa and the vanilla. And I think that's why I really like it. They're meant to be the base note. It just gives it a more kind of unisexy type smell to it. I think I can smell the coffee in that as well. But yeah, this is my second top fragrance. Oh, and I forgot to say this, Carolina Herrera one um, comes in at 30 millilitres for £51. So it's £2 cheaper than the Mongolan one. Now the next fragrance I've got is this Paco Rabanne Lady Million. Now I've only got a little kind of sample size in this, which I got in an advent calendar, but I really like it. So that's why it's coming in at number three at the minute. Now this fragrance has been around for quite a while. It was launched in 2010 and it's meant to be a seductive fragrance. On that website, I was saying the perfume shop, they have this down as being in the floral family. But um, if I just open it up, um to me it doesn't it doesn't smell that floral like i can kind of get a bit of floral underneath but i don't know i don't know i think i'd maybe put this in more of like a fresh 
category i'm not really sure um the top notes of this are bitter orange raspberry the heart notes are jasmine orange flower and neroli and the base notes are honey patchouli and amber this is what the packaging looks like of the little one but i think to my understanding the bigger packaging is the same sort of this diamond shape um which is really nice and pretty now 30 milliliters of this if you were to buy the bigger one is um retails for 47.50 so this is on the cheaper end of luxury fragrance i mean i'm not up there with my designers but this is like low-end designer if that makes sense i think anyway don't quote me on that so that's that reflects in the price being a couple of pounds cheaper i think this fragrance is really nice if you like unisex fragrances it smells it doesn't smell very girly or even very feminine it's but then it's not masculine it is it is very unisex and i know paco rabanne do make this like same fragrance um sort of family with uh, male versions so I don't know if they smell similar. I quite like this one and it's not too overpowering and it lasts a reasonable amount of time. But I think if you like a really long lasting fragrance, then this one probably isn't the one for you um, because it's just not strong enough, I think. Now, number four on my top fragrance is quite a popular fragrance and this is the Giorgio Armani C fragrance. And um, this is the original one they bought out, um, the Eau de Parfum. Uh, they do do all different variants of C now which I'm yet to try but this is the like original just C. Now this was launched in 2013 and it's meant to be a modern elegant sultry strong but soft fragrance which I definitely do agree with. Now this one's quite a personal one for me um like I was saying perfumes often reflect like they really if do you ever smell a fragrance and then it like really reminds you of a person I feel like for people who know me this is me at age 18 in a bottle. Well, it was launched in 2013. I think I was 18 in 2014. So I think that's around the time, the time I got it. This just reminds me of my first year of uni. Um, and this was my favorite number one fragrance for a while. Uh, the only reason it's been bumped down to number four is, well, it's kind of funny. Basically first year of uni, I just remember being hung over the whole time. And cause this is such a long lasting fragrance, this smell now just kind of reminds me of having a hangover, so that's not too good, but that's just my experience of it. But I, I do still think it's such a lovely fragrance. Can't remember if I said this is meant to be part of the Woody family. Um, and the top notes of this are Sicilian Bergamot, Mandarin Oil, um, Liquor de Cassis, and then the heart notes are Rose de May Absolute, uh, Neroli Absolute, Egyptian Jasmine Absolute, and the base notes are Patchouli Oil, Blonde Woods, Amber, I don't even know how you, how you pronounce that, or, or Canoxa, and Vanilla Absolute. A lot of absolutes in there. Um, and this just reminds me of Absolute Vodka. Um, yeah, anyway, so <laughs> this is a really nice fragrance. Like I said, it's a very long lasting fragrance. Like if you wear this in the day, it will still be on in the nighttime. If you wear it in on on a night out, you'll still wear, you'll still smell it the next morning until you have a shower and then even sometimes when I have a shower, I can still smell this on me. It's a very seductive and sophisticated fragrance. Yeah, it's it's, it's not girly at all. It's more seductive. Um, but yeah, go, go smell this. It smells really good. Now on to number five of my top fragrances. I've got this um, one from Hugo Boss. And this is The Scent. Um, this was launched in 2016. Um, and I've also got a mini size because I got this, I think as part of Glamour Beauty Club, which I'm subscribed to, so you get like free samples every now and then, but it's a cute little one. And once again, I think the full size is this shape bottle, which is really cute. So this is meant to be a seductive scent, but I kind of disagree. I think it's more of a playful, fresh, fruity type of scent. Yeah, that website, I didn't say what family it was from, but I would hazard a guess and say it's from the fruity family, because to me, I can just smell it. It literally smells like peaches. Like it's really nice. But yeah, so the top notes are honey, peach, and freesia. The heart notes are Osmanthus flower and the base notes are cocoa. So there isn't a lot of notes in this. It's quite a simple fragrance. But yeah, to me, it just smells very fresh and very much a summery fragrance. Um, I think this is very much a daytime fragrance and it's, it's not too strong. It doesn't last amazingly well. So bear that in mind if you like long lasting fragrances. 30 milliliters of this retails for 49 pounds, so it's not too bad price wise. Yeah, go smell this, it smells like peaches. Now my least favorite high-end fragrance in my collection, although I do still like it, um, so it's not at number six. This is the Alien by Mugler fragrance, um, and this is like the purple one. 
they do do a clear one which i don't like the fragrance of but yeah this one was launched in 2009 so it's been going quite a while now this fragrance i think mugler are very well known for their angel fragrance um which is very famous and been going for years but yeah this one it's another another one that's a very beautiful bottle I don't know why this really gives me like Lady Gaga vibes. I think when this came out, I think Lady Gaga did endorse it as a celebrity endorsement. Um, well, that might have been the gold one actually. Um, but yeah, it just really reminds me of her. Um, once again, I think it's glass bottle and then this top talisman is like plastic. And you can buy one, the, one of these that's refillable, but I don't think my one is. It's described as a rich woody fragrance from the Oriental family, which I would definitely agree with. To me, it, it's very like woody. Now the top notes are mandarin essence, the heart notes are Moroccan jasmine, and the base notes are white amber and cash cashmere and wood. And 30 milliliters of this retails for 45 pounds. Now my thoughts on this is, I like the fragrance, but it's my least favorite because it's very overpowering. Um, like I was saying, I don't like fragrances that hit you in the face or, you know when somebody walks into a room and then you can just really smell it and then they leave the room and you can still smell it in the room. I don't I don't like them types of fragrances. Um, I find them too like overpowering and kind of gives you a headache. I got the Eau de Toilette because usually Eau de Toilettes are a bit less strong than the Eau de Parfum, but this is still very strong, way too strong for my personal preference. But I do really like the fragrance. Um, so I think if you are a person who does like a strong fragrance, then check this one out. Um, it's a very nice, strong very long lasting um fragrance uh if you like oriental woody type smell so i think that just about wraps up this video now i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you did then please thumbs it up and don't forget to subscribe down below as well i look forward to seeing you in my next video